Hey friends, Robert Michael Jones here from the Hop Blog and Brew Spice. We are on our way right now to the Cannibal Bar, a very popular bar that was featured last week in Thrillist. Let's go check them out. Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the rock Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors is closed I felt like bad boy street team, I couldn't work the locks Now let's go, take them back Now, one of the coolest things that I love about this rustic bar Is that it's not exactly what it looks like from the outside Kind of small, it's huge inside We have a great 350 beer bottle selection on the inside You can see coolers on opposite sides of me we also have a pretty decent sized bar along the side here. I, over here, off to my left, we have a really pretty big space for people to sit down inside. One of the best parts about the Cannibal, this little back garden here can fit about 40 people. It's really beautiful and perfect for the summer days. All right, so we are here with Bill, the beverage specialist manager here at the Cannibal. Bill, tell me a little bit about what we have going on here in front of us today, uh, both beer and food. Sure, we got uh, we got two signature dishes. Uh, this is our lamb heart tartare. It comes with a uh, citrus yogurt, a little bit of uh, micro cilantro, and this is lavage. This is uh, a really great like toasted uh, flatbread. This is the Cannibal Dog. So, kind of our take on a on a. Coney Island style hot dog, but we have a uh, tripe chili, a spicy Chinese mustard, some scallion and cilantro, and then topped off with uh, fried shallots. Sorry Fantastic. about that. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is that is whole cilantro right there. That is absolutely gorgeous. About the beers. About the beers. <laughs> so we're we're gonna actually kind of do it a little little backwards. We're gonna start off with a tartare with a Flanders or Flemish uh, ale. This is a red ale that has got a really beautiful sour note to it. Beautiful like oh, cherry wow. note. Yeah, um, yeah, I can smell that kind of like tart funkiness. But there's kind of like an underlying kind of almost brick dusty uh, uh, stone fruitiness to it. Dutch is to Burgonia. Um, I think this is one of the first beers I ever had that wasn't Budweiser. Um, you remember your first. I remember my first, <laughs> man. Um, and we're pairing this with the uh, with the lamb heart tartare. The lamb's got that little funkiness. It's got that richness to it. So it plays really beautiful with that kind of cherry fruit note to it that you're getting as well. Right. So with the uh, the citrus and the acid just kind of helps keep everything really nice and light. Beautiful, beautiful label there. I don't want to miss that. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers the taste is... It has like almost a chocolatiness to it, like a nice light chocolatiness. Yeah. It's um, it's light, it's vibrant. I mean, this is not like a super, this is not a heavy dark beer at all. No. Let's, Dig let's in, do man. this. Excellent. Is this, uh, is this like one of your favorite things on the menu here? I eat probably two or three tartars a week. Wow. So I, yeah. We, I can, mean, we can attest to that. It's light, you get protein, so it's not like just this big hunk oh, of meat. Totally. So. Those microgreens really pair well with the uh, with the uh, kind of the acidity on mm -hmm. the beer. That's that's really lovely. Now, what would you say? Um, what would you say is like? I mean, it, this is this is excellent. What would you say is like the most popular thing that sells on your menu, or what's kind of the thing that people come in for? The most? Um, I mean, they definitely come in for our meat dishes. Our bone marrow's huge. We got a big 36 ounce, 60 day dry steak. That's ridiculous. Wow. You know, people also love to come to see you know what we have, what's new, you know, the the latest releases from all the local breweries. So it's kind of we get this really great mix of people that are coming in specifically for what's new on our beer list, and then also a lot of people who are just like, I love this dish and I want to have it. I'm also, you know, big fan of our beef jerky, which we, we got all the time, and it's it's great. Sweet. Um, so it's got a little sweet, a little spice to it. It's awesome. Do you have some here? We sell it in pocket sizes. Oh, buy the yeah. bucket load. It's amazing. You guys come by here, please, please do yourself a favor and buy one of these. Really cool. Craft freaking beef, beef jerky. Where else are you gonna find that? Let's move on to the hot dogs. On to the hot dogs. So this is actually one of the beers that we have on draft currently. 
We're running it for the Tour de France, which is going oh, on. Hey we, uh, we got big cyclist fans here. Uh, the Cannibal is actually named after Eddie Marks, who's a Belgian cyclist. Okay. This is Brasserie Thore in uh, France. Uh, this is their blonde ale. Okay, let's do it. One and one. Go right in. <laughs> All right, cheers, man. Cheers. Now, this is usually served one in one hot dog. Uh, no, you usually get two to a plate. Think about, you, you come to my house, we're gonna pop open a couple of beers, we're just gonna put food out, we're gonna eat whatever we want. You know, and that's and that's kind of our style here. It's yeah. like a dining style. It's like we want you to feel like you're at home. Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, well, thank you so Absolutely, much, Bill. Man. Really, you, really pleasure to meet you. Uh, thank you to the Cannibal and everybody here. This is, uh, this is uh, a lot of fun. <laughs>